So thank you gentlemen for making your time available this afternoon. It is very important that we come together to try and resolve these issues so that we can move forward. So thank you very much. We're just going to start with a prayer as we do um, as part of our protocols in the college. So we bow our heads. Heavenly Father, I just ask you, Lord, thank you, Father, for the opportunity to come together to work through these issues, to hear each other's stories and to map out a way forward. And we pray, Lord, for the facilitation that, Lord, we will be able to draw out the things that are going to matter to, to these two gentlemen, Lord, and uh, a positive way forward. We say these things for Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. All right, gentlemen, so we might start with you, Adam, if that's okay, because um, I understand there was an incident or there's been something going on there that um, you're unhappy about. So can you tell us what happened? Uh, yeah, so the other night we had a big blow up. Um, the TV is right behind the wall, which is next to my bedroom. Mm -hmm. And Neil's up every night, pretty much every night, till all hours of the morning, um, watching his TV shows on Netflix. It's really loud and I can't get to sleep. And we've tried to talk about it, but last night it just blew up, um, yelling at each other, slamming doors. Mm. Okay. So, um, how is it making you feel? Um, well, part of my job, um, you know, it's very stressful at the moment, beginning of year. Um, I need my sleep, so it's just adding to my stress. Um, you know, we've talked about it before and you've said, yeah, 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 so it just feels like I'm not being listened to and you don't understand, um, you know, why I need to get to bed and what your actions are doing to me. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thank you, Adam. So, Neil, you've heard now from Adam about um, his concern, um, but also how it's making him feel. So, can you please tell me from your perspective yeah, um, what's happening? I get home from work and I just want to unwind and watch my shows. And yeah, sometimes I watch them till two in the at night, but I don't think it's that loud, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, you know, we both get up for work. 7.30, mm -hmm. I can get up for work, I can't see why it should be bothering him. Okay, so um, on that note, how do you think he's um, been affected? How do you think it's impacting upon him? Oh, you know, he had a spack and um, yeah, he was all grumpy and yelled at me and mm -hmm. yeah, so yeah, I know he's upset, yep. but we both live together and mm -hmm. we both enjoy TV. Maybe he could just stay up a bit later and watch TV with me then. Okay, so since the incident happened, what have you thought about since? Oh, you know, I think maybe I could, I can, we do have that big widescreen TV, which I think we should be utilising, but I could download Netflix on my phone and use some headphones on my phone. I mean, you know, I could do that. Okay. Just, you know, that big screen TV is going to waste there. Okay. So um, you're sort of mentioning some things there that could be possible solutions. So um, mm. do you want to just elaborate and make what would be your um, commitment that you would make to try and resolve this issue? How, how would you see mm. that you would be able to... So protect? maybe stop watching the big TV at 10 or 11 at night and then just yep. watch it on my phone, I guess. Yeah. Okay. What's another way that we can maybe help to fix this and, and make things better. That's the only thing I would be prepared to do, stop at 10 or 11 o'clock and just watch it on my phone. I'm not changing <coughs> my viewing habits just for him. Okay. I'm still keeping doing my same routine. I just don't get to use our big TV anymore after 10 or 11. Right. I'll just use it, on, I'll just watch it on the phone. Okay. Yeah. And what about the part about the way that you behaved? So not just the part about the watching the TV late at, um, until all hours, but the um, your oh, you know. outrageous behaviour, I suppose. I just had a bad day at work, I guess, that time when he, you know, fronted me. Mm. And I don't know if if I keep watching TV on the phone after the ten or eleven, we're not going to have this problem again, are we? Mm. But what could you do to indicate to um, Adam that um, you know? Um, about your behaviour, about going off? Oh, it won't happen again if I... Yeah, because now I understand where you're coming from. That you've been kept up by the loud noise and I don't have to 
change my viewing habits now because I just put it to use my phone and then you'll get your sleep. Okay, so Adam, um, you heard there that that's a possible solution that um, Neil's putting out there. He's saying that um, he'll stop watching TV about 10 or 11 o'clock at night and start watching on his phone. Does that um, sound fair to you? Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm you know, more than happy for that. And you know, there will be some nights that I'll be up late or whatever and you know, we can use the big TV. Uh -huh. um, I mean, my room's right there in front of the lounge room. Yours is down the other end of the unit. Mm -hmm. You know, I'd be willing to swap because I know that the sound doesn't travel that far down. Yeah. But that's a big move. Um, okay. I don't think a swap needs to happen if I just mm -hmm. use the phone. It's not going to bother you mm -hmm. if I use the phone because I'm going to use headphones anyway. Yeah. So is there anything else that you need from, um, from Neil to fix this? Um... <laughs> No, not really. I suppose we've had this chat. Mm -hmm. um, I suppose I want to apologise as well for my spat yesterday um, with it. Um, what I did, it was just all the stress and compounding and everything happening. Okay. Mm. Any closing comments from you? No, I think it's sorted. I think we've got mm. a resolution yeah. there if you're both happy with that. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. So what I've done is I've just been taking some notes about some of the, that, that resolution there and I'm just going to write it up for you, for mm. us, and then I'll get the two of you to just check and see if that's um, a reflection of what you've, what you've agreed on, mm -hmm. and then you can sign it, um, and then I'll just check in with you at the end of the week to see how you're both travelling, if things are all smooth sailing and, and um, going well. Yeah. So I just want to say thanks, thank you to both of you once again, and I'll just close it with a prayer. So Heavenly Father, thank you for this um, um, opportunity, Lord, once again, and we just thank you, Father, for this um, restorative, Lord, that we've been able to come to an agreement, Lord, about a way forward, and to we say all these things through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you, gentlemen, and we might just shake hands to show our appreciation. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you.